these people, they come with a grin on their face. No pay, no, mind you, no pay. Matter of fact, they run stuff here to help us. I just, it's unbelievable that there's some people yet in the world would do that. And that picture that you guys took of us, that was the first portrait we ever took of my family, ever took. And the way you guys took it and the way it come out was unbelievable. With one shot, told my whole story. Surrounded by the lush rolling hills and sparkling rivers and streams that Appalachia is known for, lies the tiny town of Philippi, West Virginia. And just three miles into the hills is the neighboring community of Chestnut Ridge. There, clusters of homes are hidden in thickly wooded hollows. Clusters of homes and families struggling with a lack of financial resources who help each other build a community. In spring of 2003, 20 Life Touch volunteers traveled to Chestnut Ridge on a memory mission. This was the first time that employees from three Life Touch companies, Life Touch Church Directories and Portraits, Life Touch National School Studios, and Life Touch Portrait Studios worked together on a memory mission. The week-long project was led by World Servants, a nonprofit organization that offers short-term humanitarian missions in the U.S. and abroad. For more than 10 years, World Servants has partnered with Vision Appalachia to help families in the area improve their living conditions. One of the exciting things about working in communities like this one here in West Virginia is um, bringing in short-term teams that bring hope and encourage the people. Once the people have that hope and they sense that people care about them, um, they have a desire to do something with their own community. In the last 30 years, families in the area faced a painful break with the past, as many coal mines shut down and others became mechanized. As a result, jobs disappeared. It's always pretty, been pretty good up here. It's just jobs and stuff is really hard here. Uh, we did have a big coal industry, but, uh, you know, it kind of went out, got low, um, started laying people off, so a lot of people left. Um, and the ones that didn't leave, that couldn't leave, kind of just got stuck with, you know, what am I going to do now? You know, I used to be a coal miner, what am I going to do now? So they had to either make the change or, or leave. And we don't like to leave. We're, pretty much home people. We like to stay where we're at. Uh, yeah, I guess where our roots are the biggest, I'd say. Home people with deep roots. It would be easier to make a living almost anywhere else, but this beautiful place has been home for generation after generation. So, people stay and make the best of hard living conditions. As soon as I get a job, I'll, I'll be happy. <laughs> but jobs don't come around here easy. I might not got no money, but I got I got this. And this is and him upstairs. That's all I need, and that's all I want. Noah, my wife, my family, and God. We got to this guy's place and his windows don't close, they're broken, uh, his doors don't close. He heats with wood. Right. Yeah, we're ready. ready. We'll keep talking, now we're gonna work. We got some new windows because our other windows were broke. We were getting lots of insects in here 
and so they put up, we got these windows from the warehouse and all week they've been putting in new windows. Five in here and then they surprised us and they're doing two in the back bedroom. Okay, hit that one more time, meal and good. There you go. Excited about the new windows that will bring sunshine and warmth into their home, DJ doesn't worry about a little spilled paint. They spill paint and he's going nuts. So it's just a little paint. Just take a little rag and wipe it up. It's all right. I got, I got windows. Here they are putting these nice sized windows in and then go worry about the spilled paint. <laughs> Besides bringing sunshine into DJ and Mandy's home, the volunteers bring sunshine into their lives. The group came in, and not just the group that was working with us, like everybody took the time to know us and have fun and not just strictly work, and that's, I really enjoyed it. At the end of the day, after working on homes, the volunteers returned to Chestnut Ridge Community Center to get ready for picture night. Over the course of three evenings, 80 families came to be photographed. They were proud. They had their best clothes coming in, and, but yet there was a sense of hesitation in them I saw and I recognized, and I didn't want that to be in those photographs. And so I tried to tell them and talk to their children and make them feel beautiful and comfortable with this. Turn down just a hair, Mom. To see it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Two years ago, this family suffered a terrible setback when David Mayo fell from a tree. His injuries were so severe that eventually both legs had to be amputated, and he's been hospitalized 30 minutes away ever since. His wife and kids can only spend time with him there. He's been in the hospital for over two years, and we hope he gets to come home soon. Yeah, we're hoping. I ain't a depressing kind of person. I'm very happy, and I'm like, all right, God, you know, it's on you. <laughs> and I try to take one day at a time, and I try to be as happy as I can be, and, and go on. I raised Rita, but her life wasn't bad, though. Not really, you know. But it is now because her husband's got his legs off, and she has to deal with that. It'll take time. The volunteers were only too glad to step in and help repair Rita and David's house. Working side by side, friendships were formed very quickly. You're the foreman, he's the worker. You ask him for the tape measure. Here. Say tape measure! You want to go ahead and snap that line right there in the middle for me? There we go. Easy, easy. One more. Oh, perfect. That's it. You got it. Good job, man. Boy, well, that's really come a long way. Despite the tragedy that has kept David from being at home for so long, Rita does everything she can to keep him and the children close. Rita was waiting for her turn to be on the portraits, and she said, you know, I wanted him to be in this portrait so bad that I called the hospital today to see if he um, even was able to sit up long enough for me to go get him and bring him here to have be in the picture with us. And she said, but he couldn't. Um, they went on, they got their pictures taken, everybody was having a good time, but after they left, um, I just couldn't quit thinking about Rita saying that, you know, he really needed, you know, she wanted him in the picture. So I got to thinking more about it and um, thought this was something we just had to make happen. The volunteers did make it happen. On the last picture night, a photography team drove Rita and the children to the hospital to have their family portrait taken. One, two, three, Good. All right. <laughs> 
Good job. I think it's really important because number one, he needs to have a portrait there in the hospital with him. He needs to see that family every day. That's going to give him more inspiration to, to do the uh, rehabilitation therapy and all the things they want him to do to be able to come home. One, two, three, turkey. Good, good job. You guys are good. And you're relaxed on the chair. There you go. One, two, three. That was good. In working on this project, some of the things that we helped do with her house made the house more than just a house. It was more of a home again. And with this portrait on the wall, that's exactly what it will be as a home. I can't work and stuff like I used to. I'm losing my respiratory system. And uh, my wind and stuff's not what it used to be. So uh, we said, yeah, we could use our underpinning finished. And uh, here we are. It's not people don't want to don't want to do it themselves. Um, if if I don't do it or you don't do it, who's going to do it for him? He can't. Physically, he cannot do it. So we got to help him. We had that one whole evening. We was taking the family portraits, and we all visited, and uh, spent the evening together. And, uh, and the same people are out here in the mud were the people that were asking us to smile for the pictures. And uh, it's been great. It's been great. <laughs> Smiles come out real easy when you got people like this around. The people of Chestnut Ridge brought smiles to the faces of the volunteers as well. As the memory mission was coming to a close, the volunteers decided that everyone who could make it would return to deliver the portraits and see their new friends again. Well, here, and start pulling them out then. <laughs> All right, check that out. All right. They were overjoyed to see that David Mayo had come home from the hospital. Boy, that did come out good, man. You guys do good work. In addition to a gift of portrait packages, Life Touch provided an 8x10 portrait of each family to hang on the community center walls. Life Touch Publishing will also create a photo memory book for every family. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. <laughs> the Life Touch Memory Mission in Appalachia will seven days in Chestnut Ridge make a lasting difference? My perspective has completely changed, but Nothing about this trip has been in any way selfish. You know, you have to go and you have to just serve others the entire time you're here. So I think when I go back, I'm just going to have a lot more of a servant's attitude towards the people I work with and my customers and everything else. The teamwork with all different Life Touch groups and just the way we pulled together and we used our own strengths and abilities to help this community was great. And I'm just going to take that back with me, you know, and, and talk to my own team and say, you know, try to maybe use everybody in a way to strengthen someone else. The things that you guys have done is like gigantic things. You know, like you done gave your heart, you know, to me, to, or your lung, you know, it's like something major. 
never forget it. These people have an awful lot of dignity, and I'm sure somewhere in there there's some pride too, you know, but they have an awful lot of dignity and an awful lot of skills, and they gave up their skills so willingly. It wasn't like we were just coming in telling them what to do. They were educating us. But I guess the thing that touched me the most was um, when DJ said, I don't care if you spill paint on my floors. Because, man, look, I've got windows. And you know, that about did it for me. I about did it for me. You don't find friends like that that quick anyway. I, I think that's what makes it worth it to me. These are people I'll never forget. DJ and I will be buds forever. If you have these people come in and, and help the Appalachian people, and it sort of restores your faith in the human race, there is still good people out there. It makes you feel good, it makes your heart good, your soul. Yeah. It's like a family thing. After you get used to people, been around them, they do for you, you do for them. It's like it's a family thing. It ain't no more like strangers or friends. It's like a family thing. The families touched me um, to see that they still had hope, to see that it wasn't totally gone, to see the parents smiling because the children were smiling. And the smiles got sad when we were leaving, but it was, it was all about the smiles, you know. It was all about the joy. And they're, they're sad that we're gone, and we're sad, but they have the memories now that will last them a lifetime. Mandy shared her thoughts in a letter to Mark Uphold. Most people will live their whole lives and never get the chance to experience anything like this. They will never get the chance to allow a stranger into their heart and through conversations, learn to love these people who were nothing but a stranger days before. With that, rather than cry because everyone had to leave, I can smile. I have the sweetest and most wonderful memories that no matter what, cannot be taken away. I know if all of you affect others the way you affected us, little by little, you can make a difference in the world. With that, I will let you go for now.